What is up, guys? Uh, <clears throat> my name is Jaren R.M. Johnson. Uh, if you're watching this, you probably are following the Monsters of America Kickstarter, which uh, I'm super appreciative of you guys. Everyone that's contributed to it is so awesome. Uh, it's been an amazing experience. Uh, I kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of a transparent look into what this process has looked like. I know um, during the 24-hour live stream that we just did yesterday, uh, I had a lot of people that were asking about uh, publishing their own indie RPGs, different crowdfunding aspects and things like that. And so I wanted to give you guys a really, really transparent look into what that looks like um, because uh, I this is one of my first experiences with it. Um, I've had a lot of exposure to RPGs and things like that, but this is one of my first experiences really pushing one through uh, to success through crowdfunding uh, and getting to interact with a ton of people, which is awesome. Uh, but the first thing I want to say uh, to you guys who are thinking about doing this is it is a lot more work than I expected. Um, and the work has only just begun when you finish writing your actual book. Um, I have put an ungodly, unholy amount of hours into things like uh, the marketing for the book, creating the ads, working with some of the amazing artists who have contributed to the project, uh, scheduling different events, attending a couple of conventions. We went to PaizoCon uh, a few weeks ago, which was awesome. Uh, and this uh, sort of built up to this 24-hour live stream that we just did um, that we just did yesterday and uh, it just it sort of coincided with a work trip that I had to take so we did a 24-hour live stream with the four of us it was myself uh, CJ Brad and Maddie uh, who are super awesome people um, and they've contributed some really cool stuff to America but uh, we did the 24-hour live stream, so 24 hours straight of just playing D&D, talking to you guys, which is a blast, but incredibly exhausting. Uh, I slept for five hours. I got on a plane. I came to Virginia for some day job stuff that I have to do. Um, and I will tell you that uh, despite the fact that we're, like, really we're killing it on Kickstarter a lot better than uh, we expected to, we're, we're ahead of schedule, which is fantastic. All of that is great. Uh, the live stream is amazing, but... Uh, after all of that, <laughs> I am um, I'm a little sick uh, because my body did not enjoy being pushed to its absolute limit. Uh, I am feeling uh, very sad. Um, I assume it's a combination of sleep deficiency uh, and serotonin and melon like over expenditure just because we had so much fun uh, in such a short period of time and now here I am with all of it kind of expended and I have to give myself time to recharge. Uh, today was actually a really rough day as a result of that. Um, uh, plus, uh, having my project be in the public eye opens uh, the project up to a lot of criticism. Uh, speaking as someone who has done a lot of creative writing previously, uh, I'm used to getting criticism from folks whose opinions I trust, whose opinions I value, people that are both close to me and people whose work I appreciate. You know, I've sent my work to them and had them review it and uh, you know, you don't always hear what you want to hear, but you always hear something useful. Having something that has gained some tra uh, traction outside of just the network that I'm promoting it in is a first for me. Uh, I have seen people take some of the joke spell cards that we've made and post them on Reddit. Uh, I've seen Monsters of America posted in I don't know how many uh, Facebook groups, and unfortunately, um, a at least a, a goodly sized portion of those folks are sharing it. Uh, and sort of kind of making fun of it, uh, which is fine. I mean, uh, I learned a lot of lessons in, in marketing and uh, in how we advertised this book and how I probably would have done it a little differently if I had a second go around. Um, but it is crazy to see people talking about it and not always positively, and there are people that you don't know, uh, that you have no influence over, that you can't really change their mind, uh, which is just a very strange experience. Um, yeah, if you're, if you're thinking about writing tabletop games, if you're thinking about uh, making an RPG in a box, which we are also working on one of those, not related to Monsters of America, but um, a totally different project that I'm really excited about. If you're thinking about doing any of these things, and I think this applies even to uh, writing novels uh, and creating indie video games, uh, just being prepared for the work after the work is so, so important. Being prepared for the work that begins when your uh, original project is done. You know, once, once you've made the game or written the book or created the rule set, 
uh, there's just so much after that uh, and a lot of it you uh, might wind up with some hurt feelings uh, and things like that and it's just important to uh, understand that that's that's part of the game that's part of uh, putting something out there uh, and that's uh, kind of a necessary thing uh, once once you've got your project though if it's something you're really proud of you will find uh, your your crowd your niche your community uh, Twitter is a great uh, a great place to connect with people network and find people who have shared interests and share uh, your project with them I have found an amazing support network on Twitter uh, with the uh, a couple of uh, people in specific, uh, some of the guys that run podcasts like Evil Zombie and Nerdy People Play D and uh, Swords Fall has been super supportive of the project, and the they're just super awesome. I actually really love them. Um, but yeah, just just get out there, get feedback, uh, understand that it's not always going to be what you want to hear. Keep your chin up even on hard days, even when your emotions are totally down in the dumps, uh, which is definitely me today. Uh, and understand that just because you don't see people struggling doesn't mean they're not. Uh, just because you see these indie writers um, and these uh, creatives and it seems like they're living this lavish, like super successful, they're constantly going to cons and networking and talking to people, and it seems like they're like all about like just 100% success all the time. Uh, you're, you're seriously comparing um, their highlight reel to uh, your like behind the scenes and it's just not a fair comparison uh so that's that's sort of what i wanted to communicate was you know here's here's a behind the scenes i just sat in the shower in this hotel room for like probably an hour and the first 30 minutes of that was just sitting there the lights off just trying to unwind and unravel my thoughts and like just completely zone out and have even the the briefest period of time where i am not actively working um <laughs> Excuse me. If you're anything like me, uh, you're probably someone who wants to like go, go, go all the time, constantly be involved in projects and constantly push things forward, which is cool. Uh, but also, self care is so important. Uh, so uh, I'm I'm gonna wrap this up. I just got some food delivered and I'm super hungry uh, because I slept for five hours and then I was on a plane and then I got into the hotel room. It is like eleven o'clock and I have not eaten yet. Uh, so I'm going to go eat. Uh, and I'm going to toss this up on YouTube, post it around on Twitter, and uh, you guys can watch it and enjoy. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this journey. It has been super awesome. Uh, and uh, keep creating. Do what you want to do because uh, that's, that's what life is about. Later, man. <laughs>